And welcome to Tuscany and we have our wonderful photography tour with the illustrious David Clapp who is running away from me as we speak and we've had five days here so far and this morning is our first day here in this amazing region of the Val d'Orcia. Well it's been um, a complicated morning should we say. Yes, as you can see behind us, it's pretty bad, but we've had some fantastic mist rolling about with Pienza, which is, well, somewhere back there, but that's uh, how it goes with us landscape photographers. We've unfortunately got to wait it out and see what we can do, but breakfast is calling us very soon. No way, because th this is the big one. Uh, I'm trying to find some flowers at the moment that will uh, pass the time. And uh, there's some really good ones actually, but trying to actually get flowers to, uh, to piece together into a lovely shot with a soft background using a very long lens, 600mm nearly, the handheld 600mm. But um, no, we'll endeavour to keep going. Yeah, right, onwards and upwards. So after yesterday's shenanigans of really thick mist, we've come down to what would be the termed one of the most iconic places here in the Val d'Orcia. And next to me, I've got one of our workshop participants, the name of James. How are you going on then, James? Morning. It's lovely this morning. Well worth the effort. Worth getting up at... Uh, silly o'clock. Silly o'clock, quarter Very to five. So. Yes. Excellent. Coming up behind me, I've got another one of the participants. Come here, Stephen. Hello. Good morning. So? I'd like to introduce you to a bit of kit that every photographer should have. Which is? Which is a mat. It's a sleeping mat cut in half. Yep. For kneeling on. All right, excellent. Saves your knees on uh, stony ground. It's here as well in uh, the Val d'Orcia. It's really wet. After We've had a lot of rain here and thunderstorms. So in the morning we've been having really kind of nice light at times, but we've had some really heavy rain and thunderstorms the last few days. So the the ground is quite saturated, so Stephen and uh, James here have bought some mats to kneel on, so we're not getting too wet. So, But we'll show you, we'll spin you around in a minute uh, with the shots that we've been taking. You can see this beautiful area of Tuscany. It's Friday the 11th of uh, May 2018. We're in one of those fields that has one of the iconic houses in it. So this is uh, I Cipres, I think it's I Cipresini. That's the cypresses, as you can see behind me. This house is uh, one, of those, said, one of those famous Tuscan farmhouses where, where I live in France. Uh, you buy packets of ham, prosciutto ham, and this, is, this house is actually on the front cover of that. Next to me, I've got one of our workshop participants all the way over from Washington, D.C. From Washington, D.C. So uh, we're getting them in all from all over the world to come and experience this wonderful area of Tuscany, the Val d'Orcia. So I've been working here. I've got uh, my Canon 6D set up and I've been doing a very slight blur of the motion and the, the rape f seed field behind me. So from the back of the camera, it looks OK. So I'll just show you the setup that I've got. And, give you an idea as to what it is that I've got here for those technical geeks amongst you. This is our last evening here in Tuscany and a whole group is here in this field in front of the Vitaletta Chapel. So there's uh, 12 of us in this wheat field. We're trying not to trample all the wheat that we've got around us. We've got a better 10 minute wait or so we're going to get some light on that chapel back there so i'll just spin the camera around and you'll have a good idea of our group and what we're up to this is our merry group at the end of the day the last day of the tour last night of the tour we're waiting for our dinner in the field for that vitaletta hopefully 10 minute wait we'll have what we want That's it for Tuscany. 
So our tour has ended seven days in the Val d'Orcia. Myself and David Clapp have been taking around trying to get the best out of this area. Just here with uh, James, we're getting our very last shot at the, the chapel, the Vitaletta Chapel. Sunset hasn't been great. What can you do? Not a lot. There's been a few people up here. So uh, we've got some images, but basically what we've got to do now is we're just going to go and have dinner. Hopefully nice end of the day on Friday night, pack up, and then we're going to be all leaving tomorrow. I'm moving off to Le Marque, and uh, there's a few people staying on in the area and other people going straight back home. But hopefully James behind me, always got a smile on his face. Did you Thanks enjoy it? Time. Absolutely. Absolutely amazing this place. It's a fantastic place, well worth coming to see. Hopefully that picks up on the microphone. Hopefully you can see his smile back there. He's always been smiling. That's it for Tuscany. Probably not a very long vlog. But uh, Le Marque is coming up after this one, so I'm off there for three nights. Until the next time, thanks for subscribing. Thanks to anybody that's coming along after this vlog, and uh, see you on the next one.